Hello everybody and welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to go ahead and start on the posts view. So we're going to do the posts. If you look in your folder here and we have, we're done with this, we're done with the controller and we're going to have views and we go here to posts. We're going to work on these. Create, edit, index, and show the posts. Then we'll move on to the partials and then we'll move on to the layouts and finally the site. So in this one, we're going to start with the create blade.php. But first, let's go ahead and run our migration because we didn't migrate our post table. So let's go ahead and let our artisan migrate. And it's going to migrate our post table. Next, let's go ahead and go back to our web browser and navigate to the register route. And we're going to go ahead and register our user. So I'm just going to register falling down. And I'll use you at you.com for email address and go to password. Okay, it takes us to login. Next, I can just log in with my password, I mean my email and password that I just set. And we're already at the admin. So if you look at the routes, this is actually a protected route. So if I logged out and I try to type admin, it's going to want me to go to the login page. So if I type admin. It's going to kick me back to the login page because I'm not logged in. So just you at you.com, put back in my password, and then we're ready to go. So if you want to see that in the routes, you just go down here to routes, and there is it is. So it's actually a group, and it's authenticated, so you have to be authenticated. Uh, anyways, let's go back into here to create. First, we need to go ahead. <clears throat> I want to add CK Editor to this. So I'm going to go to CK Editor. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm click on that, then I'm gonna have a download. And I'm just gonna download the basic package. So let's download that, and I've already got it downloaded, and it's right here. So I'm just gonna grab this, copy that, go into my WAMP folder here, and go in the Chris and go in the public and just paste it here. <clears throat> and that's all we need to do for the CK editor. And we've just installed it. We just need to add some uh, some things at the bottom, like our JS and stuff like that. So we can get rid of this. First, we're going to go ahead and create the index.blade.php file for our, not create it, we're going to fill it in. So let's go into the index.blade.php. For this, we're going to list out our posts, so it's actually going to be a table. So we already need we need we already know we need extends layouts admin and section content and stuff like that. If you want to see what all this is, you can look at it. But we're just going to create the table and the actual list here right now. So we're just going to create a div with a column of med twelve and since we're using a resource, we can link. To resource, link to route actually, link to route, and the route is going to be the post.create route, and then the value of that link, because it's going to create a hyperlink, is going to be create, and we'll just leave it like this, to create a new post. <clears throat> Since we're going to add a class to it, it has a third parameter, which would be actually a parameter. So it's really like a post if you're passing information through, but we're not put passing any information through at all. So we need to put null. We can't leave that blank at all, or else it'll throw an error. So we always have to have null there as the third parameter if we're not passing anything. Next, for our class, we're just going to say class, and we're just going to make it a button. So button and button primary. So that gives us our button. Next, we need to go ahead and say count the posts and see if there's actually any posts in the database. So at if, I'm going to say posts and then count. That's just standard PHP, just count. And then we're going to say end if. 
So inside this if statement, I'm going to start a table. So this is H4. See, these are your current posts. And then we'll have another column uh, 12. So my column medium 12. Then a table. And a table is going to have several classes also. First, it's going to have a class of table. Next, it's going to have a class of table ordered. Next, it's going to have a class of table striped. Okay. Next, we're going to have our standard head and our rows. Sorry, that caps lock. So we're going to have T8. Um, some t throw some th tags in there. I'm gonna multiply it by one six. So that gives us six here. First off, we're gonna have the title. Next, we're gonna have the description. After that, we're gonna have created. So the date it was created. We should just change that to date created. So date created. Next, we're gonna have preview. Then we're going to have edit, and then we're going to have delete. Okay, we can go below this T head here and create the body, so T body. And this is where everything starts getting interesting. So for each, so for each post as P, we're going to return a row. And this is going to be the data. It's actually going to have six data. So TD times six. The first one is going to be the title. So the post title. So P title. Next is going to be, we're just going to give a description. So <clears throat> we're going to use the substring or sub str, whatever you want to call it from standard PHP and say that we're just going to grab the body we'll start at 0 and give it 120 characters and then at the end of the 120 characters we're going to append this it's just going to be dot and that's that. So we're done with that. And that will give us a 120 character description, just the first 120 characters of the body text. Next, we're going to make a span. We're going to do some more stuff with the date. So this is going to be a span class, and we're just going to add a label and stuff like that. So just saying with me. So we'll say span dot label dot label info. And why didn't it take it? It's not going to take it inside this tag. So I'll cheat. So cut that and paste it up here. And then the span here. And now it's inside here, we're going to throw some carbon in. So we're going to say carbon. Create from timestamp. So create from our timestamp. Timestamp string to time. So string to time, which is right here. And the time is going to be P created at. And then we're going to say diff for humans. Which, if you watched my tutorial on carbon, this should be just second nature by now. You don't need that extra tab in there. Next, we're going to link. We're going to link to a preview because if you, 
following this, next is our preview. So to do that, we're just going to say link to route. Route's going to be posts.show. Its value is going to be preview. We're passing in data this time. So the data we're passing in is we're passing in the post ID. So post ID next we have our class for our button so array and that is going to be class button and button info so let's make sure we have all our parentheses and it looks like we do we're done after that we want to have an link to edit, so link to route again. First let's do our templating tags here. It's going to be link to route again. No. Link to route. This one is going to be posts.edit. Again, the value is going to be edit. Again, it's going to be array. So we have p.id again, so p.id. This one didn't need the parentheses, sorry about that. So p.id. Next we have an array, a class, and we're creating another button. So button, button warning. We'll get to those forms in a minute. Next, we're going to create our final TD table data, and it's going to be the form to delete. So, and this is the same as my other tutorials. It's just a form. You can say open array. The method is going to be delete. So, method delete. And then the route will be equal to an array. And that array is going to have posts.destroy and then the ID. It's going to pass through the ID also. So posts.destroy passing through the post ID. So post ID. Add on this last curly brace. We're done with that line. Next line, we need a submit button. So form submit, and it's going to say delete. We're going to give it a class, so array class. Why, 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 why can I can't type array class and that is going to be button button danger so button button danger and another parentheses here and we should be good with that next we just close the form so form close go with that We're done with the body. After this closing TR here, we just need to say at end for each to end the for each statement. Here at the div, if we don't have any posts, we're going to tell the user that we don't have any posts. So we're going to create an if else statement. So else. And here we're just going to say dot alert, dot alert info. And column, uh, medium, uh, what size? Four. Right, and we're going to give it a style too. We're just going to give it a 50, 15 pixel margin on the top. So say style equals, we'll just say margin top 
15 pixels. And this should be good. And we're just going to say you currently have no posts. Okay. Now we just end it. So at end if. And that's it. So in this tutorial, we can go ahead and say that. So in this tutorial, we went ahead and created the index page. And in the next tutorial, we'll move forward and start creating the create that blade at PHP file. And I'll see you there.